heaven and earth. Opening cry, Matthew 18, 18 through 20. Verily I say to you, whatever so you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever so you shall loose and on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say to you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Let's go to Matthew 6 and 10. Your kingdom comes, it will be done in earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. If we cast out the devils, then the kingdom of heaven will come to us. Let's go to Matthew 16, 18 and 19. I say also to you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it, and I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, and whoever shall bound in earth shall be bound in heaven, and whoever so shall loose in earth shall be loosed in heaven. Understand the correlation of the two. Let's go to Isaiah 65, 14 through 17. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but shall cry of sorrow of heart, and shall howl uh, for vexation of spirit. And you shall leave your name for a curse to my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay you and call his servants by another name, that he who bless himself in earth shall bless himself in God of truth. And he that swears in earth shall swear by God the truth, because former troubles are forgotten, because they are hidden from my eyes. For behold, I will create new heavens and new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come to mind. So see, when God comes and, and takes over things himself, you're not going to remember what happened in the past. So you really don't want that to go that way. You want to do it yourself so you can still live in the flesh as you know it. You be in the spirit, but past is not remembered. Let's go to Isaiah 45, 17 and 18. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed or confounded world without end. For the Lord has created the heavens, says. God himself has formed the earth and made it. He established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Let's go to Revelation 2, 5 through 8. He that overcomes, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things says he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David that opens and no man shuts, and shuts that no man opens. I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door, and no man can shut it, for you have little strength, and have kept my word, and have not denied my name. Isaiah 66, 1. The Lord says, The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you built for to me? Where is the place of my rest? So you've got to build God's house. 
you Israelites. And where is God's rest? His footstool right here on earth. Be ready. Let's go to Matthew 22 and 44. The Lord said to my Lord, you sit on my right hand till I make your enemies my footstool. Matthew 24, 35 and 36. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knows no man no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. We must do on earth as it is done in heaven, that's till the soil, that's casting the devil to hell or death. Let him rise up against himself, eliminating the devil and evil in you and in high places is the key to locking hell for a thousand years. Things must be done on earth so heaven can come to earth. The Bible says we will reign with Abba a thousand years, not a day. A day with Abba is a thousand years, and resurrection will be a thousand years. Therefore, 365 days equals one of our years, times a thousand years equals 365,000 of our years equals one of Abba's years. The resurrection period will be a thousand Abba years, not people years. So you multiply 365,000 people years times a thousand Abba years. So the resurrection period will be 365 million people years. Abba Israelites will live forever, generation after generation. Closing cry. Revelations 20, 1 through 3. I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And, and he laid hold on the dragon, that serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should not deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. You can get more information at israelitesadoption.org slash 0210, Abba's Footstool, Zion. Please go to the next video in this series. Cow.